Have you ever looked at a massive particle accelerator and thought, couldn't we shrink that down just a little? Well, get ready because we're diving into the astonishing world of compact accelerators, where the future fits not in miles of tunnel, but inside carbon nanotubes, no wider than a strand of DNA, traditionally speeding up particles to incredible energies, has required sprawling facilities, vast amounts of power, and hefty budgets imaging squeezing an elephant through a keyhole. It works, but not exactly efficient. We're talking teravolt energies and machines bigger than city blocks fantastic for science, but overkill for many needs. Enter the carbon nanotube, the nanoscale superhero. You didn't know you needed. These tiny, hollow cylinders aren't just marvels of material science. They're poised to revolutionize particle acceleration as we know it. Our research explores a cutting-edge concept called channeling acceleration, using X-rays to push particles through ultra-small, Channels like a subatomic bobsled track, crystals were once the material of choice, offering incredibly high field gradients. But they're fragile, hard to grow, and crumble under intense energy. Plus, generating the necessary X-rays is an expensive technical nightmare. This is where carbon nanotube CNTs shine. Think of them as flexible, near indestructible, miniaturized fortresses. Here's why they're game changers. Size controlled for efficiency CNTs can be precisely engineered to match ideal channel size. That means we can use lower energy, more accessible x-rays, cutting cost and complexity without sacrificing performance. Better particle retention CNTs drastically reduce de-channeling, so particles stay in the fast lane. Longer maximizing acceleration and efficiency, unmatched strength with thermal and mechanical durability. Exceeding even diamond, CNTs laugh in the face of radiation and heat perfect for extreme environments. Let's talk about acceleration in a CNT. Bombarding CNTs with ultra-short X-ray pulses creates powerful wake fields like a wake fields like a nano-surf wave that boosts particles to teravolt per centimeter energies. That's 1,000 times stronger than traditional plasma accelerators. Plasmin-driven propulsion. By targeting the nanotube walls with a laser, we can excite electrons and create oscillating electric fields that pull particles forward an exhilarating high-speed ride powered by light. So what's the big deal? Instead of building football field-sized machines, we could soon see accelerators that fit on a tabletop dramatically cutting cost and space while unlocking new frontiers in fundamental science, medical technology, and beyond. This isn't just about making things smaller. It's about reimagining acceleration itself to surf X-ray waves inside a nanoscopic structure. That's as tough as it is tiny. How cool and how utterly revolutionary is that?